Yes, it is that to. Yes, it is that to. Ashwaya. Bhrankate Hutub Dubai Chagamsa Star. Or as a Zerapa, a Tsidisha younger man. A lamp Tsidis, a dam. A Tut Gibaldi Kinyan and Malatov. A French day, the Rockne is Gans in Melbourne, Australia. It's a vessel, a high in Hitler, Warner, the Vesel, a four mites, and the class is now Tata. Or what a red is Mamish Gibaldi. And the flower of Gibaldi can see the king of the land. The Harris for Ashley from Ram from Melbourne, Australia. And he's a vision as a call of the Ram Maker. A good job to the Lakai. Lakai for the brother. But Goch and Fratis, I'm going to speak in English. But Goch and Fratis, And everything is Bar Gokha Pratis that I'm speaking after Harav Moshe Lozar from Milan because Milan and Melbourne are connected. The connection between Milan, Italy and Melbourne, Australia is that when my father, Zichrena Lebracha, went to Australia on Shlichus of the Rebbe and to remain there, it was in the year Tov Shin Yud Tes and Take in Chaydesh Kislev. Right after Yud Tes Kislev, in Lahabdul Ben Chaim Lechaim or Rav Gershon Mendel Gerelik, Zosai Gesund Nishtark, went right before Yud Tes Kislev in the same week. And he uh, insists, uh, Rav Gesher Mendel insists, that the first shluchim that the Rebbe sent overseas from here, from New York, were himself and my father. The first time that his Rebbe, Sin Rebbe Sin Gerelik, was by the Rebbe Fichidus after coming back from Milan, the Rebbe said to her, B'zeh HaLoshen, and this Loshen is Meduyik, don't ask any questions on it, but this is the Loshen that the Rebbe said. B'shiach will come in other freer in Melbourne, other freer in Milan. It's freaking cautious of them, but that's the Loshen that the Rebbe said. So the Mela, the first time that Rebbe Gashin Mendel Garela came to Melbourne, we had this chus that he came twice already. So he said, listen, the Rebbe said Milan and Melbourne, and he's never been in Melbourne, he's been in Milan all the years, so he came to Melbourne. The Ikhiyaz of Mashiach is also in his Galavan, and take it from Yad, from Yad Mamosh. Just a few things. First of all, Paiskin with Van Malchus, a word from the Rebbe, the union of Reish Chaydash, Bechlau, the Rebbe's Mazbir, Mamish in the early Sikhs, Reish Chaydesh, on the one hand, it's a Yom Choyl, it's a weekday, it's Mutter B'Melacha, but we say Halal on Reish Chaydesh. So the Hezbo B'Kitsa that the Rebbe gives is that Reish Chaydesh is a Mamutza between Yemais HaChoyl and Shabbos V'Yomtev. Shabbos and Yom Tov is also B'Malacha. Yom Tov, you talk and say hello, but it's also B'Malacha. 
Rosh Chodesh, we say hello, but it's more than a lot. And the Hezbollah Barich, as you look it up, I think it's in Chalik Beis, the Kutusikas from the early years, Mamish early, early years, the Rebbe Zah. Rosh Chodesh is a Mamutza, as a, a Rosh Chodesh being a Mamutza, Rosh Chodesh is the Indian of Lamailo Min HaTeva in Teva. That's what Rosh Chodesh is. Lamailo Min HaTeva in Teva. We are now Rosh Chodesh Kislev. And we see clearly that Rosh Chodesh Kislev, the Rebbe showed us Bigashmis Kipshute, what it means, Lamail Min HaTeva in Teva, the Rebbe's Hanhoge, and the tremendous Gili which happened, Those who know the Mahala Chaluach in our Luach there are two Rosh Chodoshim that must fall out in Yemois HaChoyl they can never be on Shabbos and they are Rosh Chodesh Sivan and Rosh Chodesh Kislev the Chiddush of Rosh Chodesh Kislev is like we have this year Rosh Chodesh Kislev two days so no matter whether it's one day or two days, Rosh Chodesh Kislev must always be Bimais HaChoyl. So the Lachein Yesh Leim Arulai B'derech Hevshen that this is showing even greater that because Rosh Chodesh Kislev comes out always Bimais HaChoyl and as the Rebbe's Mazmet that Rosh Chodesh is a year of a Mamutza by Bimais HaChoyl the Shabbat V'yamtev so the Shkodesh Kislev, which is always be Moisachel, this is the Indian of a mile of Minateva in Teva in the highest way. And those who were at the time, in the night of Shmini Yatzeret, Toshin Lamed Ches, Veschatoi Ali Maskir, that we were talking and we were afraid, we were concerned that from that time on, doctors are going to make terrible Hagbolas on the Rebbe, which originally, initially, for the first year and a half later, it was that way, or two years almost, there were no Fabreng edition on Shabbos, very, very few, but then we see that it changed, and the Rebbe showed in Yonim from the Maile Mizerach HaTeva in Teva Mamish. But what does that tell us? What does that say to us? What is the message to us? As the Rebbe said many times, that Halavai vot mirayz genutz de koiches vos megit. There's no question that the Rebbe's koiches is not normal koiches. I once saw an article that somebody wrote, a journalist, I believe it was, who wrote like a biography of the Rebbe in English and had discussed that the Rebbe should be Magia, that article. So the writer wrote a few pages about the Rebbe's Moifsim, the Rebbe's miraculous powers, prophecy, I don't remember all the details, I saw this many years ago. So Kimuvin the Rebbe made a line through everything. There's a few pages. The Rebbe made a line through all of it that it should be deleted, should be left out. But the Rebbe wrote two words. The two words the Rebbe wrote because Yad Kodshe was special powers. So the sentence read, the Rebbe had special powers. And that was enough. The rest of it, the Rebbe crossed all out. But the Rebbe himself, Miksav Yad Kotre, wrote special powers. And these special koiches the Rebbe gives us, all of us, Shluchim who are out of the Yorok, or those Shluchim who are here in the Yorok, Yed Rein is Ashliach. And as the Rebbe said, Alavai Vot Mirez Ginnitzt, the koiches was Migit. That's one Nekud, and that's something which we have to focus on, on Rosh Chodesh Kislev, the display of the special koiches that the Rebbe has and that the Rebbe gives us. 
It's also interesting to know there is a word from the Friedrich Rebbe which was said here in New York on Tov Beis Nissen Tov Shin Gimel, I think. And the, Rebbe, the Friedrich Rebbe says there, it's the Beis Nissen, the Yoyma Hilula, the Yorchite of the Rebbe Rashab, his father, it's printed in Seifa Maimorim Tov Shin Yudalot. It's a short sikh, but the Rebbe says there at the end, Mir Hobman de Kreuchers von aller Abbeen. De Kreuchers von Taten und von aller Abbeen. That's what the Friedrich Rebbe says. And we want to know that the Kreuchers was we have, we want to know that we have learned, we want to know that we have we don't know what the Kirchers was we have, and the Rebbe should all help us. It's the word from the Friedrich Rebbe. We don't know what the Kirchers was we have, and the Rebbe is a good time. But the young man is not going to be nice, and the Kirchers was the Rebbe gives us. Just to tell a few stories. First of all, when I gave the Kirchers was the Rebbe gives us, and when I gave the Indian film, Gesund, there is a story which happened with my father in Yechidus. It's been told in various forms, not always in the correct form. Last year by the Kinnis HaShluchim, so actually they had a tape of my father telling it over Bikitsa. If I remember correctly, it was in Tav Shin Mem. My father was here then in, in Chodesh Cheshwin, and he was in Yechidus. And in those years, his health was uh, not the way it should be. And he had written to the Rebbe already a few times asking for brachas. When he was in Yechidus, the way I remember him telling me the story afterwards was the Rebbe asked Vos Machte Balaboste how the wife Vos Machte and then he said Vos Machte Irman and he said that the Dafa of my brother Fagazun The Rebbe knew about it because he had written to the Rebbe. I actually remember that I wrote in when he had a certain condition with one of his feet, one of his legs. So I wrote in a settled him and Mamush, very soon after, not just an answer came, but the Rebbe sent a letter, a letter of the full Shlema. But anyway, so my father said, the, the, um, so then the Rebbe said, and as my father said, he didn't know what he did. Then the Rebbe said, And my father was, he didn't know what he did. He, he, he broke down crying. He said, Avada, the Rebbe is mit for the Zayn Gesund. And he just, he ran out of the Rebbe's room. It was Azag Gilui. He said, he just couldn't stay there anymore. And he went, and he left the Yechidus. But that was the Lashon of Benegay Gesund. Others tell the story that he gave him a Shlichus, and he said, the Shlichus is too schwer. That's not the way the story. The story was Benegay Gesund. The Rebbe said, I'm mit for the Taich, but the Zayn Gesund. Just share a story which I told a few times, I'll tell it again. There was a year in Australia. He told the story, actually, it happens to be on video, the story. I didn't hear it from him directly, I heard it from the Rav of his shul, where he davened, that's Rav Motel Gutnik, he was a 
Holocaust survivor, he davened in that shul when Rabbi Chaim Gutnik Zerchayel of Racha was the Rav Jair. He passed away already a few years ago, but this story he told the uh, Chaim Shemesh. Ten years ago, eight years ago, I'm not sure exactly the year. It was in Kippa after Musaf by the Afsaka between Musaf and Mincha. The Zeev went over to Rabbi Mottel Gutnik and he said, I want to tell you a story. But before I tell you the story, I want you to call over, you should call over another one or two people. So that when you tell over the story, people won't think that you're making up a crazy story. So they called over some other guys there. And he told the following story. He said that a few weeks earlier, he was in Eretz Yisrael because he has a daughter and a son-in-law in Eretz Yisrael. He has grandchildren there and one of his grandchildren was getting married. On the day of the Chassidah, he went, he went to Yerushalayim with the, with the Mishpacha and they went to the Koisel, the Kotel as they call it. And, and the Chabadnikim over there as they're called ask them if they want to put on film. He agreed right away. And he told all of the people in the family that they should all put on film. And they put on film. Later at night by the Chassanet, he was sitting and holding a glass of water and it fell from his hand and he fell to the floor he suffered a stroke, Rahmanul Islam. Called the ambulance. Actually, his daughter, she herself is a doctor. They rushed him to the hospital. They hooked him up to the machines and to the medications and to the, to the tubes and everything. And they put him to sleep. He went to sleep. In his sleep, he has a dream. He has a special visitor coming to visit him in the hospital, in the intensive care room. The Lubavitch Rebbe, he says, came to visit him in the hospital. Comes over to his bed. I don't know how he greeted him. And he said to him, in Yiddish he spoke to him, he said, I hate me she is. He says, in a time gelegt film, so he answers to the, the Rebbe, he says, Yo Avada, he says in his dream, he still had the marks of the film from the day, but that day he put on film. He says in his dream, the marks on his arm were still there. And he showed the Rebbe, look, you can see on my arm the proof that I put on film today. He said, the Rebbe smiled, and the Rebbe said to him, either Zeit gesund or Ilved sein gesund, something like that. The Rebbe left. Woke up in the morning, it was as if nothing happened the night before. He was completely healthy. He could move everything, he could talk, as if nothing had happened to him the night before. I actually told over this story a few years ago in Eretz Yisrael, by a Shabbaton, and somebody came over to me and he says, you know, I heard that story, I know that story, I said, where do you know it from? He said, because this guy's daughter and son-in-law live in the same town as me. And we noticed one time, all of a sudden, the son-in-law, who didn't have a shaykh with Chabad, started to come to bring him to different gatherings of Chabad. So he was asked, you know, why are you coming now? I mean, what happened? So he told this story. He said, because of this story, that his father-in-law had a miraculous recovery from this dream of the Rebbe coming to him, so he started to join the Chabad Habrengans and gatherings in his uh, town in Eretz Yisrael. Tell one more story which happened, this happened probably around 15 years ago. My father got a phone call in his office, and the person on the other line, on the end of the other, on the other side of the phone says, he would like a rabbi to come to the children's hospital because there's a little baby, a newborn baby, which was the nephew of the person calling and unfortunately the baby was born with a heart which is not working properly. 
the heart is malfunctioned and the, the doctors say that there's nothing they can do and the, his brother who was the father of the baby and his sister-in-law want a rabbi to come and visit. So my father asked me to go. So I went. I took with me I took with me an eagerness of the Rebbe. The from the Rebbe's prophet took with me an eagerness of the Rebbe. I came to the hospital. I met the parents and I met the uncle who made the call and a few other family members. And uh, they met with me in a, in a room near the ICU, the intensive care. And I listened to them. I said, uh, you called for a rabbi. You know, how can I help you? So actually the mother, the Yeledes, she herself was a doctor. So she understood all the medical issues and she explained. It says, when a child is born, so the heart is not fully developed, it doesn't function right away properly. It's in the first few days. Wait, it opens up, I'm not a doctor. But she explained that it develops, it, it, takes a, uh, uh, it takes a while the first few days. It's normal that it usually happens. But unfortunately, by this baby, it didn't happen. So the baby's heart is not working, the baby's on a machine, the baby's in the... Uh, and the doctors have tried, whatever, there's nothing that they can do. There's nothing they can do, medically nothing can help. So I said, uh, well, you know, we have uh, God in heaven, you know, we can pray for a miracle. Being that she was a medical professional, I don't know how much she believed. Whatever, she, it, it, it sounded like they, they were thinking on the, those lines about, you know, prayer for miracles. I said, so can I ask you why you called a rabbi? What do you want a rabbi for? So you call a rabbi maybe to say some prayers. And then we want to know, the father says, we want to know, we believe, we believe that there is a soul, there is a neshama. We want to know what happens, you know, if a soul comes into a baby and it's there just for a few days. You know, what's it to explain a little bit about a journey of a soul here just for a few days. Anyway, whatever, what I answered them, it's not Negea. And uh, I tried to be Mechazic as much as I can that they should think, that they should understand, you know, the Neshama and the Neshama is from the Abisha, the Abisha can make miracles didn't look like that it was very uh, well received by them. Anyway, I just told them, you know, you have my, here's my phone number, my cell phone. Call me whenever you need anything from me. And I went, I went downstairs. I was, I was, I was uh, quite uh, upset. Of course, the massive and so what's about this, this response? I opened up the Igris and there the Rebbe is talking the for a long time I didn't even have. There the Rebbe is talking about that the passage the Rebbe brings a knee Yeshena the Livi A that the Am Yisrael is in Golos Farshlofen Yeshena but the Livi A so the way I looked at it the Chachila that you have people here that uh, they are sleeping in Golas, they understand that there's a neshama and nevertheless that's the way I looked at it in anyway I went home and I uh, was expecting that in the next day or so I'll get a call not good news one day passed two days passed on the third day so I called I had the number of the uncle and I said no what's doing you know I haven't heard anything what's doing she says, oh, you don't know what happened? All of a sudden there was a turnaround and the baby's heart started to develop and the baby is now on the road to recovery and in a few days the baby is going to be discharged from the uh, intensive care into a regular ward and Take, a few days later I went back to the hospital when the baby was in a regular ward and when the baby had his first birthday, a year later, they invited me to the birthday party. I have to confess that it was somebody else who told me, and I told over the story sometime later to somebody else, 
He said, du verstehst nicht, du bremst Broche. They're talking there that the heart is not working. So you see that the Rebbe is talking in the letter, Ani Yishayna Velivye, that the heart is working. And that the heart did start to work. Anyway, I just want to finish again. The Rebbe is up. We're talking about the Koches of Lamayu Mina Teva in Teva, which we saw very, very evidently in Pugoli, Bamrem. And the Rebbe says that we have these Koches too. He said the words from the Friedrich Rebbe, Mom, the Koches from Allah Rabbein. And as the Rebbe said, Halavai, Volten, Miroiz, Genutz, Di, Alle, Koches. We should use all of these Koches and be Matzliach in the Shlichus that the Rebbe gave us. Shlichus Ham Yuchedes, Le Kabel, Pnei Mishiach, Tzikeinu, that this year, the Shredish Kislev, will be a Rosh Chodesh, it's a Chodesh Shel Geula, but this should be a Rosh Chodesh Shel Geula, from the Geula, Amitis, Vashleim, Omen, Kenyi, Rotten. Mechaim, Mechaim.